In this video, I'll be teaching you an easy trick to verify your arithmetic calculations easily. We'll be adding up the digits of the number to get a single digit. Let's start with 215. We add up the digits 2, 1 and 5 to get 8. For 923, we add up 9, 2 and 3 to get 14. But here we are not done yet. We need to add the digits again until we are left with a single digit. So we add up 1 and 4 to get 5. And now we are done. Let us move on to a larger number. Here we add 3, 5, 6 and 9 to get 23. We then add 2 and 3 to get a 5. As the number of digits increase, finding out their sum also becomes difficult. So, let's learn a new trick to easily find out the sum of the digits. Casting out 9s. Here, we can first cancel out the 9s. We have one 9 here and we cancel it out. Then, we can also cancel the digits that add up to a 9. In this example, 3 and 6 add up to a 9. So, 3 and 6 can be cancelled out. Now, we are left out with only a 5. So, 5 becomes the sum of the digits. Now, let us check this out with an even larger number. Adding up all these digits gives us 37. We then add 3 and 7 together to get 10. And then add 1 and 0 to get a 1. But we could do all of these in a single step by casting out the 9s. We first cancel the 9. 4 plus 5 makes a 9. So we cancel 4 and 5. 3 plus 6 also makes a 9. So we cancel 3 and 6. 7 plus 2 is also 9. So 7 and 2 are also cancelled. That leaves us with only 1. So we get our answer in one single step. Moving forward, we'll check out how to verify our arithmetic calculations. Let us start off with addition. Here you have addition of two numbers along with its answer. As our first step, we add up the digits of our answer 140. 1 plus 4 plus 0 gives us a 5. Next, we move on to the numbers in our question. 84. Add up 8 and 4 to get a 12. Now we add 1 and 2 again to get 3. Then we take our second number 56. Add up 5 and 6 to get 11. Adding 1 and 1 again gives us 2. Now since we are verifying addition, we will be adding the numbers 3 and 2 and check if we get a 5. And this shows that our answer is right. Now let's move on to addition of two large numbers. First, let us check out the answer. Here, there are no 9s, but 8 and 1 add up to a 9. And there are two such sets. So we cancel out the two sets of 8 and 1. And we are left with 8 and 5, which add up to a 13. And adding again, 1 plus 3 gives us a 4. Now we'll move on to the first number in question. We cancel out the 9 first. 7 and 2 make a 9. 6 and 3 also make a 9. And we are left with 5 and 1, which add up to a 6. The second number in question. Here, 1 and 8 add up to a 9. 5 and 4 also add up to a 9. We are left with 2 and 5, which add up to make a 7. Finally, let's add 6 and 7 together, which gives us a 13. 1 and 3 add up to get a 4 again. So that shows that our answer is right. Now let us see what happens if we had made a mistake. 
the sum of these two numbers should have been 3792940. But let us assume that instead of 4, we made a mistake of writing a 3. Let us now start checking from our answer. First we cancel out the 9s. 7 plus 2 is a 9. So we are left with 3 and 3 which adds up to give a 6. Then we check the first number in question. 81654. 8 and 1 make a 9. 5 and 4 also make a 9. So we are left with 6. Moving on to the second number. 7 plus 2 makes a 9. 1 plus 8 is also 9. 3 plus 6 is also equal to 9. So cancelling out all these leaves out 1. Then we add up 6 and 1 to get a 7 which is clearly different from our answer which shows again that our answer is incorrect. We could also use the same method to check out calculations involving multiplication. Let us start off with multiplication of two small numbers. 13 into 15 is 195. As usual, we start off with the answer. First cancel out the 9. Then we add 1 and 5 to get 6. Then moving on to our question. First number 13. 1 plus 3 is 4. Second number 15. 1 plus 5 is 6. Now note carefully. Since we are verifying multiplication, we'll have to multiply these two numbers. 4 into 6 is 24. Now we add up the digits 2 and 4 again to get a 6. Which is exactly same as our answer. So this assures that our answer is right. Finally, we'll check out multiplication of two larger numbers. The calculation is already done and the answer is given. Now let us start adding up the digits of our answer. We cancel out the 9 first. 1, 2 and 6 makes a 9. So cancelling out that leaves us with 4 and 2 which add up to a 6. Now let's move on to the question. First number 2542. 5 and 4 gets cancelled because they add up to a 9. So what remains is 2 and 2 which make a 4. Next number 1653. 6 and 3 add up to a 9. So cancelling out 6 and 3 we are left with 1 plus 5 which gives us a 6. Now remember since we are verifying multiplication we will be multiplying 4 and 6. So 4 into 6 is 24. Now adding up 2 and 4 gives us a 6 again. So now you can be sure that your calculations are correct. Hope this video has helped you understand how to verify your arithmetic calculations easily. Don't hesitate to leave a comment if you have any doubts. And if you found this video worth watching, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.